What's up guys? This is the Roseman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total Let's Empire Total War Let's Play as the Knights of St. John. So, to round off where we left off in a fairly disastrous turn of events for a single turn, uh, the Ottomans captured Malta, and then they immediately sent their troops uh, west to come and attack us. So my army is recruiting, and then I want to get them onto a ship, sail them to London, invade and take over the city <laughs> that's my uh, that's my objective i have no priests to worry about immediately I, don't, I do want to build up still build up a garrison here in spain but i'm hoping i might be able to actually knock out great britain fairly quickly got to bear in mind i am at war with the ottomans and prussia and britain and prussia is the preeminent power uh in this campaign and it's i'm unable to make peace with the Ottomans or, or Spain or anyone. Because all of those all of those Prussian units are coming my way. That's part of the reason why I just want to uh, bail. Or maybe not. Maybe they are reluctant to leave Paris for morale reasons. Yeah, the Ottomans are going to push in. I, I can't stop them, or I could stop them, but I'm tempted to not do that. And instead rely on my garrison holding out while my army goes to London and captures the city. And I'll immediately have to demolish all the schools, um, the priest, the the, uh, the um, religious building, and replace it with my own religious building. Or even then, it might end up being just two happiness buildings to try and get rid of the rebellion as quickly as possible. Push up, take Edinburgh, and then Dublin. Uh, the aim down here is just to hold on to what I've got for as long as I can. So we do have this army pushing. I could... I don't know, I could just march back. I could I could do a lot of damage to these guys. It has crossed my mind. Although I have no cash. Like, none. That could be a very good garrison. So I think I'm going to continue with my plan. Build a unit of... It's cheaper. Build a unit of grenadiers. It's going to chop my income down a little bit. Three turns to a fire by rank. But I think my Exodus plan is going to work. Just dump my troops somewhere off the coast and just go straight for England. It would be great if I could get my priest over there. But he'll take a few turns to get back. But I think that's probably the best thing to do. Like, I could hold against um, those Ottomans, but there's a chance, if they do take Madrid, that they sue for peace. If I can successfully escape to London... Yeah, they just brought another stack of troops. Yep, flee 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 it looks like they really don't want to attack the city which is good it buys us time to deploy my army and i'm not gonna lie i'm i'm doing a big roll of the dice i could sit i could have sat at that bridge and defended and then eventually have the prussians attack me as well but i think with this army intact i've got one good shot to have to fire and go and take, or try, and take Britain. So I probably won't... Oh, I can make it, okay. So let's get all my guys on, onto the ships. Take my lone fourth rate, Hermione. Hermione. 
I can even get it back. Um, I would be tempted to take Dublin and then Edinburgh, but um, I'm mainly concerned about my ability to... If I take Dublin, I'd have to do a bit of stabilisation there. I'd have to take Edinburgh, I'd have to take a bit of stabilisation there. But if I take London, I've taken London, and London's worth a lot of tax. But yeah, the hope is I can lure them in and hopefully get a fairly decent garrison army. And it might actually be not a very good army, but I can't buy anything either. This is a big risk. Uh, don't, don't get me wrong, I'm not pretending that this is technically the best move. Um, because part of me is pretty much open to this campaign dying, because it's been such a grind and it's been so unsuccessful. Um, since the get-go. If it does fail, I will start again because I've got a, a different strategy that worked last time. Yep, here they come with more men. I don't want to give up Madrid until I've got a suitable alternative. And that alternative is London. London, then Scotland, <laughs> then Ireland. Knock Britain out of the game. And if I can get the British Isles, I may end up giving away territory to try and make peace with... Like, I'd be happy to give away Madrid to Prussia to counterbalance. Or maybe give it back to Spain. Because that, that might punt all the Ottomans out of the region. But obviously I don't want to do that before I get fired by rank. Probably going to lose it this turn. They are probably going to raid it, which is going to be annoying. Britain very helpfully hasn't invested in decent roads, so dirt roads. New town emerges. Not going to spend money there. <laughs> My priest is running to Porto to try and abort, board a ship to get to London. Because I can't give up Madrid now, because it's giving me two, and two grand in cash. Which is half of my tax income. So I can't lose it now. If I take London, I could try and give away Madrid to Spain or to someone who's not Paris, but who isn't at war with the Ottomans, that would punt... Oh, God, the Prussians are... <laughs> the Prussians are sending an army as well. An army from Brest. Yep, so they've raided my school, so no fire by rank for me. I was one turn short, man. One turn short. And... Yeah, I <laughs> Yeah, yeah. The Ottomans took Malta, and then that was it. It was a run. It was a home run. Um, well, actually, what I'm... Eh. So what I might do, if this campaign dies, I might hold a campaign vote to start to either replay this with my new strategy, or start up a new campaign where I don't count the Knights of St. John as done. Um... But I'll start a new campaign as someone. So, 11 grand, 5,000 pounds. Ronti, agliotti. Let's go take London. <laughs> it's the amount of money that London is worth. It might be enough to offset losing both of my other cities. Maybe. I'll probably have to exempt them from tax. So I can't go giving away... I can't go giving away um, too many benefits. But ideally, I can take London as quickly as possible. Sprint to Scotland. Take it. Let's put my guns... up here, where they will trek forward slightly. Form one line, 
And one rank on the left, on the right. Another rank on the left. Group my cavalry. Fortunately, they got a pretty pants garrison force. Let's get our men into position. And limber our guns. Charge our cavalry on ahead through into the gaps to just disrupt. as much of their operations as possible. No, you don't do that, otherwise you're going to interfere with their fire by rank. So aggressive, charge up. Break this file like I'm citizenry. Get these guys to charge file like I'm citizenry. Some men to charge down the enemy as they retreat. Let's target our artillery against the surviving units. Let's get these militia in to hit these fire like arm citizenry. Artillery, focus on the garrison militia. You guys continue and flank. Yeah, the militia's confident, <laughs> while everyone else is just booking it. <laughs> everyone else is, nope, not having any of this. I think that's everyone. Oh, no, the unit of, this unit of fire lock arm citizenry is holding the line. So my marines are now going to go and say hello. Just run away. Let's pivot. Pivot my line, Sans General. General. I think that unit must have come back. Well, they are still here, so let's just run them up. So where's this cavalry unit? Yeah, you're doing great. General. Go and intercept someone. Because it looks like the 7th Regiment. Yeah. Unsurprisingly, they didn't want to hold the field themselves. And we're absolutely going to continue. Not that I think it makes any difference in terms of morale. Um, just because it's rather nice for it to have gone so well. Uh, 
Why don't I go after this one? Just come and charge down the Pope's enemies. Damn right it was decisive. That was brutal. I mean, mate. Yeah, that was such a good victory. Yeah, they really don't like us. Understandable. Cambridge is just a school, so let's get rid of that. Can't be built any happiness buildings, so we're going to have to deal with a couple of rebellions. We can't even build one. We can build a church school to start to convert the population. So much so, I wonder if it's... Yeah, we're, well, we're getting two grand from tax. Slight population debuff. Might put a church school just to start converting them, because they are a bit Catholic. And let's demolish the chapter school here as well. Or I may hold off building that to hopefully save up to build a bawdy house next turn. And probably take a cavalry unit. Get, get them out. Try kick them out of Bristol. Okay. It's diplomacy. Let's try again. Austria wants to try. Is Austria trade with us? Yes. The Dutch, can they trade with us? Or do they want to trade with us? That's the question. And they do. Does Morocco want to trade with us? They do. 1900. Next turn. Out of Porto. Let's see. Keep you running towards this region. If we demolish the school, that gets rid of half of that. It's likely we will have to fight some British rebels. Which, if we do, that's okay. Come on, Austria, march through and help us. Don't keep losing to the Genoans. So the, yeah, the, pro the Prussians have dropped off a stack in northern Spain, but that's not surprising. We're going to keep losing money via Madrid. Which is sad, but meh, what can we do? Nope, we're not going to intercept. I don't like how the Moroccans, the Moroccans are going to sail. They're probably going to go and declare on us as well, as is tradition. So there's a raid at Granada, 600. Okay, why don't I? Okay, we didn't we really didn't get as much money in that turn as I'd have liked. Especially when you consider what we want to try and achieve. So they're minus eight. It's going to be some religious unrest. We can get our priest aboard ship. Deploy them. Si è lodato il Signore. Terra. Good. So start to convert Catholicism to get rid of get rid of religious unrest. It's currently worth nothing. I could repair a barracks, but it's probably worthwhile keeping things protected. Ooh, we get some cash from there. Two and a half grand. Okay, that, I can live with that. Don't want to build anything here. 
I may still just build... No, I need to keep it to help rebuild these buildings to increase happiness. So, who is... What's the Ottomans not at war with? No, they're war with just us. Okay. Very friendly with Mogors, very friendly with Austria. Who is at war with the Ottomans? That doesn't help... Okay, I could. Well, I can't get rid of it because it's my capital. Duh. No doy. Workers on strike in England. That's expected, but we don't want to increase taxes. A, it only improves our position by one. And B, uh, we, just, we really need the money. I think our priest just died. <laughs> but if I get that to 2600, I can help repair. I can repair my other buildings. Obviously, Britain's landed a stack. But we expect... Well, not landed a stack. The small army they already had in the region. Oh, the Prussians have attacked us. Uh, let's do this, Prussia. Because we do want to keep hold of this region. At least while we expand in other regions. When it looks like we're going to actually lose the city, then I'll trade it. But until then, I will continue to defend my city. Deploy the moors outside. Take all our troops. Deploy them out here. So, infantry, infantry, militia. Grenadier, expat. Militia. Militia. Everyone else. You get ready. So they do have guns, so they may make it into the city. Our gunners are focusing, fo focus firing on them. Hey, we may get, to get a good kill on their general. So they got lots of their troops are ah, depleted. So we can do lots of damage to them before they get to the wall. This is the section they're aiming at. Which isn't the end of the road, but you can tell it looks like we're actually going to suck in a lot of their troops. Trying to knock out our mortars, which as I've shown before, are slightly suicidal. Especially if it means it gives us an opportunity to dice up a bunch of their troops. Like, like shooting cavalry when they're this close to the wall is great. So my men can just butcher them. So long, mortars. Although one of them is my general, I must admit. But, eh. Swiss Guard. So long, general. It was nice to know you. Okay, let's run a garrison line unit up onto this section of the wall. These guys are probably going to route. Yeah. 
on its packs. Knock out the gorillas. There we go. They're gone. They're gone. Swiss line are gonna make gonna get onto the get onto the get onto the the, uh, the wall. We have got an incursion. A couple of incursions really. My grenadiers are likely to respond to this. Swiss guard. So much so I'm going to move my grenadiers across, put a garrison line up here in their place. Yeah, we're doing a lot of, doing some good killing over here. Commit my grenadiers to the assault or to the defence of this city. My militia just mob them with a lot of troops. They'll never they just stop them from getting a foothold. So the Swiss Guard are down to half strength. Damn, this is hit directly with artillery fire. One thing to bear in mind is the Ottomans are, not the Ottomans, the uh, Prussians are actually pretty good when it comes to hand-to-hand uh, -hand combat. Uh, Footline infantry have come back. Some Swiss line is starting to climb up to the wall here, which is a, it's a bit of a danger. I think it's one of those one of those dangers where our men are, are enough to meet the challenge. No grenadiers, what are you doing? Get involved in defending the walls. This militia should be more than enough to see off the night. Take up position on the walls. Open, open fire. So the Swiss Guard have routed. Send the militia in to engage. Let's bring these men over to the wall. Wait a minute. Building lost. Okay, let's make sure that that doesn't last. Especially if they're going to very nicely. Okay, you guys all don't fire at will before you kill my own men. Good, the Swiss infantry have been routed. The attacking forces in the city have been pushed back. It looks like they've captured the gate, but then they've suddenly decided, nah, we don't want it. Actually, let's keep my grenadiers off the walls. Let's put my garrison line on the walls to man the guns. So 66%. Let's start to deploy men in position in the likelihood that they charge they charge the fighting or they charge this position which is probably quite likely let's 
seen him off, was the deputy general killed? Lucky cannon shot took him out. From the 16th Regiment of Foot. So you garrison line, you are garrison line, so let's put you're gonna be a sacrifice. Kind of want them to make a hole in our line. It's part of the very good reason why we want our grenadiers down off the wall. And get these guys to man the corner firing position, see if that helps. Are these guys bugged. Yeah, they're bugged. Nice. They're coming on again, but they're getting slaughtered and cut down by musket fire from the walls. Twenty seventh Regiment charge on giving zero cares to what may befall them at the top of the wall. They're concerned the general's dead, but they're pretty confident. They're happy. One more artillery shot and these men have got their breach. So I want to leave them there as a bit of an offering. Now it's time to get them to clear off the wall. Same with the militia. The garrison line can stay where they are. I might just... You guys aren't engaging them. Oh, get rid of mercenaries, that's annoying. You guys will slowly beat them. You men may as well get off the wall here. You men may as well get off. So let's see what happens. If I run off the walls and give them with no targets to shoot at, will they then decide to go through the bridge? Although it looks like... gonna fire on them. Sadly not. Let's get you guys back up on the wall. Our arm citizen are taking pot shots at them as they climb up and that was enough to break them. So uh, yeah. Okay now they're closer. Let's run our militiamen here into a better position. Let's run you guys just away see if I can make them move. See, these guys have moved closer, so militia firing by rank will now just rain hellfire on them. It looks like their intention is to make a second breach. So, so fire will off, turn fire will on. No. Yep. They can't stand up to that very long. Who are you firing at? Is this firing? Probably aiming at someone inside the walls. The irregulars have now decided to come in. <coughs> but the constant withering fire of the armed citizenry is enough to push them out. Question is, do we advance out against this very small cavalry army? I think the answer is maybe.
in the name of finishing the game, you know, earlier than... Well, finishing the siege long before the battle's over. Fight the regiment of horse. Let's go knock out the guns. Come on, let's get off the wall rapidly. Do still have that annoying Yeah, so there is wavering. Still aiming at the wall. The militia's gone, artillery's gone. And the general and the cavalry will soon be dead. So let's turn fire will off for everyone to make sure no one does any silly crossfires and kills a bunch of their own dudes. <laughs> it wasn't close. That was a good win. That's what that was. Back they go. I'm going to try to see if I can make a temporary peace. Or a slight piece to see if they see if they kind of accept. Uh don't intercept. It might be a river battle, but I don't no, I don't want to do that. <gasps> oh now they're attacking! But thanks to the way the garrisons work, most of our garrison troops are now fully replenished. So uh but looking at the time limit, I think it's time to end the scenario. Or to end the uh <laughs> time to end the part, sorry. So Thanks for watching guys, this is quite promising actually because if we keep knocking the back and we keep making use of our big garrison we will um, outlast them. Um, but yes, thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed and I'll see you next time in the next episode. Cheers everyone.